is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. relevant an acknowledgement of the fact that our world imperfect though it may be is our only world it is our collective responsibility to not take life for granted and to do our bit to make dents in the problems we see around us and designers are no different it's time to salute and recognize the most socially relevant design of the year here are the nominees iit hyderabad for Good design initiative with Conda Ready Community. Imago Architecture and Design for Sub Post Office and Ration Shop. Urban Design Studio for the Pavilion of Canopies. Wall Makers for St. George Orthodox Church. SEA for Sai Mandir. Manasram Architects for Guest House for ICT DEI Campus. Manasram Architects for Cocoon Educational Pavilion. Rajendra and Associates for Botanical Garden. DA Studios for Mahaprasthanam, a Hindu crematorium. And we have two winners here, equal in every way. The award for the socially relevant design goes to SEA. Okay, a quick question to SEA. Sai Mandir must have been a very interesting uh, project to work on and to make it socially relevant. The design was so unique. Tell us about it. Uh, first of all, thanks to everyone. Uh, we always believed in the context very strongly and we feel that every building is a temple if it follows the context, whether it is designed by architect or not designed by the architect. And to hand out the other award, uh, I'd like to request the presence of Narish Narsimhan and Lalita Tharani, please. And the joint equal winner in this category is Imago Architecture and Design. I would just like to say that uh, we were quite excited about this project because it brought back, it reinforced the notion that architecture is not just for one small section of society. This reached down to the level that would be used by, by everybody, even the, the, the lowest privileged. There's also a special jury commendation in the socially like relevant Lalita design category. And that goes to Urban Design Studio and the Wall Maker. Thank you, and uh, this is an, an approach to symbiotic relationship between tribals and uh, the common people. We try to encourage the, that sense to the common people, and I like to thank the club, my club, uh, the Kishore Shongu, and all the club members who has done a wonderful job to make this possible. It was for uh, St. George Orthodox Church, 
and uh, it was for a Christian group who believed in new technologies and also going to ancestral Nubian masonry techniques. So also I would like to thank uh, wall makers and all my architects who helped through the process. Thank you. Well, it is vital. Everyone knows that the future of tomorrow is with our youngsters. So this award is the DA Student Award for 2015. And I would like to call upon stage, I would ideally have to, would have liked to call on stage all our three knowledge partners. But two of them are here. Sandeep Khosla and Manit Rastogi. Join me, gentlemen, on stage to honor the young and fresh talent. from R.V. College of Architecture, Bengaluru and Kevin D'Souza from the Lokmanya Tilak Institute of Architecture, Design Studies. A big round of applause. These are our future, our tomorrow. And they're being awarded a check of 50,000 rupees and a study tour to the Grohoi Manufacturing Plant in Kiang, Thailand. the certificates away for a moment and and let's Sandeep a question for the young budding architect okay so do you feel that um, architecture should be rooted to one's environment or should it reflect the globalized world that we are living in mm. according to me everything begins at the base and at the local so as much as contribution we could make it to it at the most uh, grassroots level I think it will just take on from that and it will obviously reach global soon sure, so sure good answer good answer you liked it all right that was a approved answer what about for this young gentleman Manit you have a question so tell me uh, what do you really think architecture is all about is architecture a profession? Is it a way of life or is it a condemnation to hell the fact that you spent five years and you can't do anything else beyond that? I'm so glad you asked this question and I don't know why I'm prepared for this but uh, uh, like <laughs> ever, since, ever since like the first year everyone's been telling me architecture is building, building and I've been telling everyone no it's not, it's everything from science to art to quantum physics and I, I don't know how I'll make that connection but yes all of that is architecture yes congratulations, congratulations once again thank you Sandeep and Mane thank you it's a supreme expertise to make the master plan for large projects land acquisition scouting development it's quite a daunting task and that's why we have this next award for master planning all projects of site area greater than 50 acres and to announce this uh, award, can we please call on stage Mr. Mahesh Khaitan, Director, Salar Puriya Satwa Group, Bangalore. Let's have the nominees, please. FHD Group for Nandi. Acumen Habitat Solutions, Private Limited. For rejuvenation of Kaikhondrali Lake. There are two special jury commendations for this award. And it goes to, the first one goes to, FHD Group. started with a very simple thought that what if today's urbanites get to live near a farm, really, really enjoy a rural lifestyle. So bringing these two together in a master plan scale of more than 50 acres, that really uh, was the biggest challenge for us. And we are still, you know, trying to become agriculturists. We are trying to become um, uh, animal husbandry people, trying to bring all the components of rural life into this. So playing much uh, different role than what you normally do as architects. So, Fantastic experience. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I would ask Mr. Verma to stay back. Um, the second award goes to 
Ecumen Habitat Solutions Private Limited. Uh, well, this is sweet justice actually uh, to be given the award of by my mentor with whom I worked 15 years. And uh, this is really uh, uh, a great uh, moment for me. Uh, I must thank the people who actually started this project. Uh, Kaikondrali Lake is a lake in South Bangalore and uh, it was started off by Priya Ramasuban and uh, Ramesh Shivraman who are just ordinary citizens who wanted to actually rejuvenate this lake. And uh, we played the architectural part in this whole thing. And it's one of the most successful rejuvenation of lakes that's happened in, uh, in Bangalore. Living is the norm in today's world. Group housing is popular for dozens of reasons, from a smart utilization of space to a shared and streamlined set of amenities to safety in numbers. It can also mean finding creative excuses not to use the gym that's just three floors above your apartment. Okay, this is the Architecture Award Group Housing. And to give away the award, I'd like to once again call Mr. Jeffrey Nagpal, Managing Director, EPCO Private Limited, and Mr. Rengi John. And the nominees are... Manviwala Kutub and Associates for Wallace Fortuna. Good Earth Eco Developments Private Limited for Good Earth Resonance. Studio for Architecture, Landscape, Interior and Entry Private Limited. For Frangipani. And the winner is Good Earth Echo Development Private Limited. We represent a much larger group of people and uh, we are not just architects, uh, so I'd like to make that point that we are a collaboration of architects, engineers, carpenters, masons, electricians, managers, finance people. So we, uh, a, a project like that can only be realized with the collaboration of an entire team and this award goes to the entire team. Thank you. Great Wonderful. Well Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you to both of you for joining us. You know, Vasudha, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an architect. Sadly, I soon learned that my skills with Lego didn't automatically translate to architectural brilliance. And one day, my Lego world came crashing down. Okay, we'll give uh, Vikram a minute to come to terms with his childhood traumas and we go on with the show to hand out the next award, uh, Architecture Award for Retail. I'd like to call on stage Mr. K. Jessim. And let's have the nominees for the Architecture Award Retail. New for ABC Emporium. Modi Srivastav and Associates for Incredible Landscape. And this award goes to Modi Srivastava and Associates. This 
was a little space which was made for imported uh, exotic plants. So the biggest challenge was to be as near to the nature as possible. And I'm happy that we have been able to achieve it. And we thank uh, NDTV Grue for the recognition. Thank you so much. designed offices can make going to work a pleasure. The nominees for Architecture Award Office are Arcom Consults for Studio Arcom GSM Architecture for SPS Office Landmark Design Group for Corporate Office of SKF India Limited. The Inner Core Design Studio for Corporate Office for VRV Cryogenics. Pra Group for HMG Office. And the winner is the Intercode Design Studio. To start with, this happens to be our first project, first award, and first time on stage. So we're a little tensed. Thank you. So now I think we just wanted to bring back the playfulness uh, into office spaces. That's something we don't see often these days which are like heavily cladded with stone, uh, sorry, glass and ACP. So we just wanted to do something uh, which is not being done. So we've tried with concrete and then the stone, which we were told uh, that nobody has uh, used this stone, particularly in India. This is something that we personally have gone to quota quarries and then we've sourced. So I guess uh, that's a catchy thing of this particular project. And then apart from that, any of these, work, I mean the workspaces, of this office, you don't have to switch on lights. So you have like complete uh, daylight throughout those uh, nine hours of working. So I think that's the USP of this project and that's how we are here. Exactly. Thank you so much. And rounding off our architecture awards is this next category. Society needs buildings to learn in, to experience culture in, and to enhance our understanding of life in. And it is for precisely for such needs that this final architecture institutional category exists. To give away the award, I would request Mr. Sharuk Mistry to come on stage. And the nominees are Kumar Lanoche for Music School Library, Arcom Consultants for National Institute of Faith and Leadership, NIFL. Space Matters for Temple in Stone and Light. Design House Solution Private Limited for Watson School of Business. War Makers for St. George Orthodox Church. And the winner is wall makers actually i i'm really out of words you know because it's it's a it's such a great step uh, i was talking to my junior here mr sagar 
that you know like no we we were just nominees you know so suddenly when you called we were like really at the back because we never thought that this this we would get this award because again i would like to congratulate other nominees in this category you know you guys are splendid you know each and every nominees you know i was keeping on looking at the screen you know these video screens you know because it, it's so nice to see so many great works of art that is what we also try to do we have very little budget most of the time so uh, trying to create a work of art is is a bit out of reach for us but thankfully our clients have been kind thank you ndtv thank, 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you there's also a special commendation in the architecture award and the honor goes to arcom kansa second commendation award for the evening thanks to ndtv and the sponsors and the jury members uh, the national institute of faith and learning is an uh, it's, it's at dasna about 100 kilometers from delhi is a uh, islamic institution trying to change the way the religion is being perceived by training the clerics who largely uh, influence the community and the masses akom was involved in the uh, vision and the designing the space as well it was a very special commission uh, because it was a religious uh, place to make with nationalist values uh, a hindu architect designing an uh, islamic uh, institution it was a, a very good synergy with the whole team design team kind of uh, 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 in synergy with the uh, uh, clerics and the project had all these uh, very interesting islamic el elements but also questioning the existing ones so a special uh, humbly accept the award on behalf of the whole account team thank you so much thank you so much sir moving on to our next category which are the house awards for different climatic zones of india starting with house award climate zone temperate to announce the winner of this category i'd like to call mr somnath mukherjee taj land uh, taj west end i'm sorry and stephen odell let's have the nominees please practice inc for saragi weekend home Prague for Stone House Studio Modeling for Weekend Home Costa Associates for Library House And the winner is program Sometimes you don't have to really you know sort of investigate into doing a design sort of process into great intensities a uh, lot of things become very obvious from what is there in its context and what you can see around and 
how you talk to craftsmen and and people who build around that place. So a lot of it is learning out of that. So Thank it's a very so simple much. process. Thank yeah. you so much, Thanks. sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to both of you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, the House Award for that deodorant manufacturer's dream, Warm and Humid. To give out the House Award, Climatic Zone, Warm and Humid, I'd like to invite former Chief Minister Karnataka and former External Affair Minister of India, Mr. S.M. Krishna. And the nominees are... Pra Group for Woodhouse. Group 4 and Vertex Inc. for House at Goa. White Hand Studio, Fabian Osner for A House in Oregon. Operas Architects for House at Kandala. Group 4. For House at Cardi. Studio One for Petite Firma House. Wallmakers for Biju Matthew Residence. Wallmakers for residents for Mrs. and Mr. Korean Philip. Uh, I've heard wallmakers twice. Do you think it's going to be wallmakers, guys? Say yes or no. Ah, I'm sorry to disappoint you. And the winner is White Ant Studio, led by Fabian Osner. It's a simple house and it's in that sense almost a non-house because the main intent was to do something which doesn't have permanence. The moment you don't use the house anymore, it, the forest is allowed to take over again. And I think this was the driving idea behind it. That you try to Im reduce the impact of what you do, what we as humans do, to reduce it and, and give back to nature and let nature take over once again. Personally, I've always been a fan of hot and sweet, but the, that may not be relevant here. Huh? Uh, the nominees for the House Award Climatic Zone Hot and Dry are these. A for Architecture for Brick House. Shirish Berry and Associates for Gandhi Farmhouse. GME Design Company for The Perch. Arthur Studio for Farmer's Abode. Vastu Sherpa Consultants for Party House Extension. The winning trophy goes to Artha Studio. We worked on a very rural site. We never thought it will be uh, nationally known for the, such a small project. It's Farmer's House. We worked with uh, traditional materials and whole idea was how we can make a good project in rural site though because people start thinking pakkacha ghar and pakka ghar. So idea started with a very simple thing, two vertical lines, two inclined lines which is a primitive drawing of any kid and then in first year you are taught to do wooden construction. And when we went to the structure engineer, they said, we don't have a strong codes and we can't design. So you have to design on your own. 
so studying around the things and old tim old structures we came up with the structure what is now and it was a win win situation with for a client who is a farmer active farmer though is a engineer and his phenomenally supported projects for all two years and it was a very very satisfying because he allowed us to detail everything i agreed to put a cow dung as a flooring which is not very easily acceptable when you make a pakka house and now for the biggest award of the evening i'd like to call well, manisha is already here this is the most special award you know they say it takes a lifetime to master any given discipline well today we have someone who's truly done that and qualified to be called masters of their trade ladies and gentlemen in 1964 an indian man and an australian woman joined forces and became partners in life in architecture they worked on many iconic projects over the years from the campuses of the guru nanak dev university in amritsar and modern school vasant vihar new delhi to the much acclaimed indian pavilion at the expo 70 in osaka for the half century and more that they worked together they've inspired generations of indian architects it gives me immense pleasure and it's our deepest honor and privilege to announce the aa lifetime achievement winners jasveer and rosemary sachdev a big round of applause ladies and gentlemen to present the award of course we've got external affairs former chief minister of the state of karnataka mr sm krishna Many congratulations! It's such a privilege and honor that you came to accept this award, Rosemary. Congratulations, Jasmine. I mean, your partners, uh, and how has this partnership been strengthened over the years of designing and doing such commendable architecture work together, Jasmine? It's been a long time, a fruitful one. but going on still continuing as it was briefly mentioned by shambhi the continuity the main process which are going through it as it happens that 50 years of our work has been appreciated over a period i find at many places today i am standing on the other side of the picture while i've been acting as a jury member doing the teaching students <laughs> more for rosemary who has contributed so much to education so much for the students and students have regard for her. we have been teachers we have been practitioners in architecture profession we have been urban designers we managed to do reasonably well satisfactorily reasonably thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> Such humility. Big round of applause for Jasveer and Rosemary Sachte. Thank you very much for giving us the honor of coming here and accepting this award. And of course, all the winners, why don't you join us at stage for a photo op? Mr. Krishna is here, the jury as well. On behalf of NDTV, thank you very much for being part of Groha NDTV Design and Architecture Awards 2015. but we can't wrap up the evening without thanking our wonderful sponsors and partners first and foremost of course groha our founding partners epco are powered by sponsor dnm building products private limited associate sponsor 
Sleek International Private Limited Associate Sponsor. Salarpuriya Sattva Associate Sponsor. British Paints Associate Sponsor. Lighting Partner, Siska LED. Hospitality Partner, the Taj West End Bengaluru. Knowledge Partner, Morphogenesis. Decor Partner, L Decor India. Student Awards Partner, Ethos. Online Partner, Zingi Homes. Our Invitations Partner, Ravish Kapoor Innovative Invitations. And finally, our official tabulators, Ernest and Young, thank you all so much for your support. It's deeply appreciated.